um, it was a. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a struggle, you know. I would definitely would love to be out there with my teammates, but just the circumstances, um, you know, COVID just put us under these circumstances, and a lot of guys around the league are under protocol. So, you know, it was, uh, it's something we knew coming into the season that may happen. So I wasn't too upset about it. I'm glad I'm back playing, though. What do you feel has to change on the defensive side of the ball in order for this team to be successful? We just got to get consistent at it. I felt like we played some great defensive games when this past week when I was out. And, um, um, you know, throughout the season, I just think we've been up and down on that side of the ball. And, you know, it's a matter of time before we start to put it all together, put it all together and um, become more consistent with it. And that's going to happen over time. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kevin, uh, in your mind, when you look at some of these uh, games that you guys have played, I mean, Steve was pretty uh, irritated, seemed a little bit irritated about uh, the, the appearance that you guys thought this game was over when you were up 15. I'm curious, if some of the teams that you've played, do you think maybe that some of these games you've looked past, not you specifically, but the team has looked past some of these so-called lesser opponents? Um. I want to say that I think you got to give credit to these other teams that's coming in here and playing with a sense of urgency to start. Um, guys are making shots. I mean, they hit 15 threes tonight. They started off slow shooting threes, but once they got confident, they started to knock them down. And we dug ourselves a hole there, um, you know, to start the fourth, end of the third. And, you know, from there, you just give a young team confidence. Uh, but, you know, just got to keep plugging away. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kevin, you, you sound like you are really dealing with the circumstances of the quarantine and stuff like that, but then there's a lot of other stuff going on in the world with the, all the political unrest and stuff. Can you just describe uh, the difficulty that people might be having uh, handling all these issues on a personal basis and, and how tough it makes it for a, a team like yours to come together? I can't speak for everybody. I mean, I don't know how guys are handling, handling this uh, situation. Uh, but guys feel, you know, um, excited to come into work and excited to play. Uh, so I really don't know for a fact how guys are feeling right now. But as far as the games are concerned, I think everybody is excited to play. And we understand we're under some weird circumstances with COVID. But guys are just, you know, coming to work and being professionals. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, you, you guys did have an early 15-point lead. I'm wondering if you can kind of pinpoint maybe one or two plays where things started to go left and then why you were able to swing it back into you guys' favor. Uh, I think um, <clears throat> Hami Diallo came in and gave him a huge spark off the bench, scoring the ball, getting downhill, getting steals for him, and, you know, just changed the momentum for their team off the bench. And, you know, all Horford probably played his best game of the season, too, you know, and, you know, Shy Gill just, he's going to give you what he gives you every night, you know, 31 points is seven and six is, you know, great for him. So I, I just feel like they play with each other and play with a, a nice rhythm, and you, know, you got to give them credit. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey, Kevin, uh, welcome back. I'm wondering when you were out was one, was there any, I know I know you've had it, but there's so much we don't know about COVID. Was there any sense of nervousness as you kept continuing to move towards continuing to test negative? Of, oh gosh, what if this one's positive? And then what activity of any basketball or cardio that you have access to were, were you able to do while you were out? Uh, I didn't feel, <clears throat> I didn't feel like I was going to get COVID again. I knew that I had it before. I had the antibodies and I didn't come in contact, um, you know, with too many people, and I, f I felt confident I'll have negative tests, and um, I was able to get some workout at the house, and um, you know, weights, treadmill, stuff like that, to keep me in shape. But it's nothing like game shape, and uh, it's good to, you know, I'll be able to get in practice tomorrow with the guys. Alex Schiffer, the athletic. Hey, Kevin, you, you guys had a hard time shooting from three all night. Was that a product of the way they were guarding you guys, simply the ball not going in or, or something else? Yeah, I think it's just a, a mixture of both. I mean, they play, they play, they got their hands up on a lot of shots, but they also, uh, we also miss some as well. But for the most part, um, we just got to keep shooting them with confidence and, and keep believing in ourselves when we let them fly. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Kevin, you know, we're about two weeks in here, and I think three quarters of the league is with a, a game of 500 one way or the other. It, do you think that's attributable, attributable at all to just some of the circumstances you're talking about and that 
everybody's kind of looking for consistency, and, and it might be that way for a while. Um, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't blame it on anything, but <clears throat> I wouldn't pinpoint one thing. I mean, I think it's just. Uh, you know, us coming in and figuring out which lineups we want to play with and which guys that want to, uh, which plays we're going to run on, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, just getting used to each other on both ends, you know, knowing, knowing what we're thinking out there on the floor, it takes some time to, you know, understand your teammates, and I think it'll come. Ian Dudley, SNY. Hey, welcome back. Um, obviously, I'm not going to ask you to speak for Kyrie Irving, but since you're so close with him, have you shed any light on like how he's doing and how he's out for personal reasons, but it's just all right? Uh, I won't speak on Kyrie. I'll let him do that for himself. Um, you know, so I'm sure you, you guys will see him soon whenever he comes back. And we got we have uh, we support him 100 percent and uh, pray for the best. Last question, Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kevin, you mentioned uh, figuring out the lineups that work best. I mean, this is, rebounding has been an issue, but this is by far the biggest lineup, really, that you guys could put out there on the court realistically. I mean, do you think that's contributed at all to any of the defensive issues in terms of keeping people, keeping the ball in front of you? Um, no, I think we, uh, you know, I think we could have did a better job at playing one-on-one -on -one defense, obviously, but, you know, I think we rebounded the ball pretty well, and, um, it's just a matter of them getting, like you said, getting one-on-one -on -one baskets, and sometimes the team is uh, just better than you doing that. And I think, I think if we focus in on watching film tomorrow, guarding guys one-on-one, -on -one, like seeing where we could be better, then we'll, we'll grow and be more consistent in that area. But tonight, we got to give credit to the Thunder for going hard at us. Thanks, Kevin.